Hey everyone, today we'll be focusing on calculus today, and today we'll be focusing on this problem, and without any further hesitation, let's get started. And now we're going to be dealing with the following problem here, which will be f is equal to 1 minus the square root of x. And what we need to do for the following problem is that we need to, again, figure out the domain and then the range. And as we already know, the domain is all real values of x and the range is all real values of y accordingly and x is our independent variable y is our dependent variable and so what we need to do is that we first need to figure out exactly what the whole function is going to look like and so if we were to plot it what we would see given the fact that we're dealing with square roots square roots typically have a curve that will either go all the way um, in one direction um, on the x-axis, either positive or negative. And we also have to state it over here. So two, three, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And something interesting, this does look similar to y equals mx plus b on our linear equation, but we have a square root of x that is negative as well. So what is that going to mean? Well, technically, that means that there is this one right here that is just very hard to see at first. And given the fact that we are dealing with an exponential curve, it's gonna look something like this at that point. However, given the fact that our y-intercept, which is similar to this over here, is one, it's gonna start at one. And then what will happen is that it's just gonna keep going down in this direction over here, that way, and that is what our graph is going to look like accordingly based on our function that we have already set here. And so our domain, given the fact that the square root is defined by x overall, is gonna be greater than or less than zero regardless, because if we hit zero, looking at the graph, well, it looks like that it's not even going past the negative x that way. Therefore, what we could see, whoop, That was very weird, apologies on that. But we can see overall is that our domain is going to be uh, starting at zero at the x-axis over here. And they keep going out that way. And then it looks like it's gonna go to positive infinity. Meanwhile, the range, unfortunately, is just only stuck in particular between just one over here and negative infinity. So what does that mean? Well. We put the leftmost on the left-hand side whenever we were running out the domain range. And so it looks like that in terms of the range on the y coordinate, it looks like the graph is going to be going down all the way to negative infinity. And then given the fact that we are stopping at the y-intercept over here, which is one, we would have one in this case over here and have this hard stop. Let me just make this better. There we go. So our domain will be at zero at a hard stop all the way to positive infinity, and our range will be negative infinity all the way to hard stop at one. Whenever we are visualizing our graph, because we know exactly what our y-intercept is, and we know what our slope is over here. Sorry about the color. There's this tiny one over here. And it's very similar to y is equal to mx plus b in this case. And we have x is going to be greater than or equal to 0, given the fact that square root is defined for x needs to be greater than 0. And so, yes, this was our domain and range that we had to figure out for our following problem. Now let's head over to our next one. Hey everyone, thank you very much for taking time to watch this. If you found this video helpful, be sure to feel free to please like and subscribe. And if you have any other questions as well, please put them in the comment section. And as always, take care. Cheers. Bye-bye.